so this is quite fun, but a little bit boring. This, however, is quite fun, but a little bit irritating. It plays a little tune every time you punch. How annoying is that going to be? So let's have a look at the previous version and the one that I've applied some brain surgery to. So we can uh, try to open the head. I did uh, open this previously and used a bit of brute force, not realizing that I only cared about the head. It's quite interesting how it works. So if you see in this little slot here, every time I push the arms up, it closes the circuit. Let's do it with the really annoying one, just to annoy you, because it's been annoying me, all this beeping. So if we do that, it closes the circuit, and in the old version, that just lights up the um, LEDs in the eyes. So let's open this up. So it is remarkably simple. So all we have are some little coin cell batteries. There's two of them in here. And then we have these two connectors that go into the body. So one of them goes to the little top connector and the other goes to the bottom connector. And those just get squished together and complete the circuit. So the two LEDs are in parallel. Um, let's see what these batteries are. I've got, got a couple here. I can get them out. Seem to be wrapped in some plastic. Come out to your little batteries. There we go. Two coin cell batteries. So I will uh, order these. LR41s. There you go. So two, two LR41s. So yeah, so it's pretty simple. Um, closes the circuit. And the LEDs light up. It is quite uh, quite sensitive to where the head is, um, so that's uh, interesting. But let's look at the uh, the one that I've uh, done the brain surgery to. So I spent a bit of time wiring this up. It was quite fiddly, so I will spare you the trauma of all of the swearing and the wiring up. And let's see if we can extract. Oh, it's gone off again. Extract the brains. So there we go. So we have a very small lithium cell that's powering the whole thing. I was originally going to try and power it off um, one of these coin cells, which would just about fit in the brain. But um, in the end, I wanted more volume. So more volume for even more annoyance. So we have that little cell. We have the two power wires from the cell powering my little, um, my little board. And then that has two wires. So one of them goes to this connector here, and then that goes through the body out to this yellow wire, which is used to trigger the, the music. So this goes into very deep sleep mode, draws about seven microamps in deep sleep. And then we just have the resistor off to the two LEDs. So we get the nice LEDs lighting up, as well as the terribly annoying music. So pretty simple really, but quite fiddly to solder up with these uh, small wires and gosh, it really does go on, doesn't it? Um, maybe I'll choose a different tune next time. And anyway, we, uh, I'll put some tape here just to insulate everything so we don't, uh, don't do any short circuits. Then you just cram everything in. Gosh, shut up. And then we can just close the, uh, close the head and just squeeze it together like that. So yeah, pretty simple. Um, in theory, this would last a very long time, so you too could have an annoying thing. I think I might, uh, might actually go back to the original non-annoying version, because uh, these beeps do get to you after a while. <laughs>